For the super rich, it's a chance to park your wealth. But for the rest of us, it's window shopping at Southeast Asia's newest and largest art fair. The inaugural Art SG has kicked off in Singapore, drawing works from more than 1,000 international artists. It's also looking to leverage the region's growing art collector base here. Sherry Lok reports. This is the place to cast an eye or get a hand or two on some of the finest art the world has to offer. ArtSG draws on works from 160 galleries across 35 countries, from household names like Yayoi Kusama and Ai Weiwei to rising stars across Southeast Asia. It's important to also show art production from around the region alongside the best of contemporary art from around the globe so that collectors can see a wide spectrum of artworks and to understand that um, the strength of the artist and what they are creating from Southeast Asia is on par with what is being created around the world. Spanning two floors, the fair at the Marina Bay Sands Expo and Convention Centre is expecting some 40,000 visitors over the next four days. This space used to host Art Stage Singapore, the country's main art fair from 2011 until it was abruptly cancelled for commercial reasons in 2019. Though it stayed strong for several years, even featuring as many as 170 galleries in 2016, sales and footfall later declined, with only 45 exhibitors planned for its final edition. But Art SG is betting on a change in this landscape. It says Singapore is becoming home to more of Asia's wealthy, and that this is the moment to develop its status as a major art market. Singapore historically has not had a, a collector base big enough to sustain an art fair like this. But over the last few years, things have really, really changed in the city and there's been a big influx of wealth. Uh, a lot of mainland Chinese have moved here and have made Singapore their permanent base, as have collectors from Indonesia. Um, there's a younger generation of collectors and they are internationally educated, internationally engaged uh, and now are collecting work not just from their own culture but from right around the world. Galleries like the Hong Kong-based WOW are also setting up outposts here. They see the city-state's potential as an arts hub not unlike Hong Kong's in its earlier days. There's a lot of young energy, there's a lot of new energy. I think people are eager to learn about art and culture and I'm happy to be a small part of it. Art SG is also backed by the Art Basel brand. The parent company of the International Art Show has a 15% stake in the fair. It's happening alongside Singapore Art Week in a signal that the country's art scene is back in business.